For almost 30 years, Monta Vista Hospital has been the leader in behavioral health care in Las Vegas. Behavioral health challenges can affect a person's safety and dependence and overall well-being. And Monta Vista helps support those affected in both inpatient and outpatient settings. Joining us now to shine a light on the importance of caring for those with behavioral health issues from Monta Vista Hospital Chief Operating Officer Gregory Cowper and Zona Thompson. She is a lead therapist and licensed clinical social worker. Welcome to you Good both. Thanks for having First us. First time on The Blend. We're yes. so glad to have you. Thank you. Yeah, Zona, <coughs> may we start with you? Uh, okay. I'd love your opinion of being a therapist. What is it that we should watch out for with our loved ones when it comes to behavioral health? Well, we recommend taking a proactive um, approach to treatment for the senior population. Uh, watching for signs such as sadness, yeah. um, hopelessness, thoughts of suicide. Um, also, if they're having like crying spells or uh, emotional flatness, or if they're not, um, if they're having you know those thoughts of no longer wanting to live or so. Definitely things to watch for. Of course. Mm -hmm. and so then stay in tune with stay your in loved tune. ones. Stay in tune. Stay aware. Exactly. Yeah. And mm -hmm. that also, Monta Vista, we, we want all the viewers to know that uh, Monta Vista is open 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year to, to, provide, to provide care for your loved one. Mm -hmm. We mm -hmm. also offer free level of care assessments for um, the loved one to determine what level of care they may need. And we offer... Um, you can call, you can bring in your loved one. Mm -hmm. And make sure it's the right fit and for you. And make sure it's the right yeah. fit. Of course. No, that yes. free assessment, that kind of breaks down that barrier of, uh, you know, I want help, but I'm not sure what it entails. No, just come right in. And, and right. It, it, if I also may inject, we also have a geriatric unit, mm -hmm. specific, specifically for people 50 and older. So they're not put in with the adult population. So they mm. are separate, which I think is a really important factor that knowing that your loved one's not going to be in with the with general, general pop care. population. Absolutely. And that we have a, a unit specifically for um, individuals with dementia and mm -hmm. the, the geriatric population. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. What, what are the yeah. statistics when it comes to some of these risk factors that we we're talking about earlier? Great. I'm sorry. Well, well the, 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 like as far as our, in our community, mm -hmm. uh, seniors that are that are facing the same things of depression or sadness. Well, I know the CDC did a report that um, over 20 percent of adults ages 55 and older um, have had mental health concerns, but only two mm. out of three have received treatment. Yeah. Gotcha. So we want to break down those walls and make it as easy as possible mm -hmm. for them to get the care that they need. So the free level of care assessment does just that. It, uh, it determines which level of care the patient needs. Mm -hmm. It may not be uh, an inpatient hospital stay. It may be a referral to their uh, primary point. doctor. Yeah, exactly. Uh, we want to make that as easy and mm -hmm. seamless a poss as possible for our patients mm -hmm. and their families. Well, and I, again, I think you do that, offering that free assessment. That's yes. a big deal. Because you do, you want to break down those walls. You mm -hmm. also want to just get rid of the stigma around mental mm -hmm. health issues. And I know, particularly often in older generations. Yeah, particularly this generation, they seem like mm -hmm. they, they want to tough it out. They want to have a, they weren't necessarily told it was okay to cry. Right. It's something yeah. to be exactly. ashamed of, mm -hmm. and it's just simply not. There are some triggers that people often experience, mm -hmm. uh, in particular seniors in their older years, that can, can actually lead to a decline in, in their mental mm -hmm. health. What are those triggers? Um, some of the triggers are chronic pain, mm -hmm. uh, physical il um, illnesses, mm -hmm. a loss of a loved one, mm -hmm. uh, grief, loneliness. They often I isolate themselves. Um, so those are some of the triggers to watch out for acting out. They often will have uh, aggressive behavior. They may be irritable, anger, and mm -hmm. those are um, some symptoms that if they're brought into the hospital that can be addressed. Drug and alcohol abuse. And drug and alcohol, mm -hmm. yeah. that, Those are all, by the way, true, not just for seniors, but for, for, for I know, I exactly. saw certain medications listed mm -hmm. on that uh, list. UTI yeah. is another one that people don't realize that can affect oh. a senior wow. um, mm -hmm. and can affect their memory and their behavior. Mm -hmm. Well, let's That's talk about Monte Vista. Do you, do you accept uh, most insurance plans? We do. Okay. We accept all major insurance plans, all your retirement mm -hmm. plans, mm -hmm. all your commercial insurances, uh, Medicare, Medicaid, mm -hmm. uh, VA, TRICARE. Mm -hmm. uh, we have financial counselors that are uh, on hand 24-7. So if there's any financial concerns, don't let that be a reason mm -hmm. not to call. Yeah. Uh, yeah. If, if we can't help you, we know somebody that can. We'll get you connected to the right mm -hmm. person. 
Uh, that's the key is getting <laughs> connected to yes. the people who have the information. Absolutely. That is great. Excellent. And people can get a hold of you how at Monta Vista? Call us at the number on the screen, 702-364. 1111. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Weren't yes. they great first time guests? It was fantastic. Right. There See? we go. Thank you you stuck the much. landing to put it in Olympic right. terms. Very nice. <laughs> uh, Monte Vista <laughs> Hospital, Red Rock <laughs> Behavioral Health. They're located on Rochelle Avenue, just south of Flamingo. You can contact them or visit their website on your screen uh, or their phone number as well. You can also find them on Facebook or Twitter. Monte Vista Hospital, a proud sponsor of the Morning Black.